Pachacucci 258, Street Fighter the Movie, The Book, and Shadow Lady. Uh, it's another week of me going through my manga collection while I try and look for inspiration uh, for what's going to happen in a couple of months. Um, pretty much everything I have I bought as a kid, kind of around 2000-ish. Um, I did also keep up with my daily sketch schedule uh, that me and the Mystic Moor are kind of banging through. Um, it's not often I work in colour using the tools I'm using, which is it's either it's either chalks or it's uh, at the airbrush, uh, working in colour to kind of build these things up to a time limit. I'm not especially happy with any how any of them turn out, but I think ultimately I'm not sitting down to do these things to practice any particular art discipline. The discipline I'm working on is the discipline of actually agreeing to do something, sitting down and doing it, doing it consistently and being okay with that. Um, you know, a lot of these pictures have different time limits, but I always find the tools I'm using and the way I approach this complicates these things. But you know what? They are complicated, so it's not like I have to feel bad about what I come out with. But one of the pictures I did, I was literally on the phone the whole time, this one. And this is a pretty complicated image. Um, but then... Until I decide to sit down and say, hey, I'm, I, I have a specific goal in mind and I have to achieve that goal other than the goal of simply sitting here and, and doing something for a approximation of a certain amount of time. <clears throat> it's not something I need to internalize as, as success or failure. Um, some of these images are very complicated and I think I might uh, towards the end of the month come back to some of them because there's 20 images posted for the whole month. It might give me the opportunity to look at these and double up the time I've done. I also spent this week watching season five of Rick and Morty and I'm surprised to find it holds up. Uh, Rick and Morty is, is it's still good. Uh, it's the fan base you have to watch out for more than anything. Um, it's almost as smart as it thinks it is and that's the, an incredibly high compliment. Uh, I also managed to do my Tuesday picture of Bison on Wednesday because I was so distracted by one of the pictures I did for the daily sketch that I completely dropped the ball on this. Um, as with all of these pictures of Bison on Tuesday, it's just a bit of a joke. I'm not worried about quality per se. It's actually been quite an enjoyable experience to just draw something without any concern. Um, I've also been trying to... to um, work on my anatomy understanding of upper male torsos as I stumbled across a kind of a how to draw manga book in Japanese um, as I was perusing the internet and I just really liked the way that the the book was breaking down the pectoral muscles to three solid shapes of of um, a quite an aesthetically pleasing form and I'm like well this seems like the kind of thing I should bother to internalize because this would be helpful in the future even though the book is in Japanese and I don't understand a word of it the pictures are pretty good um, I've also done a little bit of just trying to draw characters in places to get a sense of well how to draw characters in places I typically draw headshots upper body shots and as I struggle with legs and hips, I realize that you need to put people on the ground to figure out what their weight is. And that means, you know, you've got to actually factor in where people are from the start. I'm going to enjoy it the more I do. I like, I think, what was going on this week. It was very non-committal, but it, is, it was a good exercise to get me in the right frame of mind. So, Street Fighter 2... The book of the movie. I'm pretty sure the movie's crap because the book's crap too. Uh, it's exceptionally frivolous. I love it, but I I can't pretend it's good. It's to me. I'm laughing on almost every page. It's just so flamboyant and nonsense, and it's it's. I love it. Like it literally starts with Ken driving a uh, like on a on a motorway or something, and just for some reason Sagat is now suddenly standing on his fucking. In front of his car is bonnet and then bison sitting next to him like somebody and i'm like this is the tone of the book the guy doesn't give a fuck it's a licensed book it's a cash grab and he's just having fun with it i love the art i love i love the vibrance the fact it's in color is surprising but is also questionable um there's it's really bison kidnaps ken to get ken to kidnap ryu that's the plot of the entire book 
Um, but the first time Ken fights Ryu, he's doing Guile's moves for some reason because he's actually Guile <laughs> in a fucking in a mask. And Guile is one of the best characters in this book because he's not only a major plot point, he's also like the comedy relief. This is a, a, a cheeky, boisterous nonsense. Um, and it's a toss up between this and Tenshi Miyu for what the worst manga I own is. But this is fucking brilliant in its absurdity. I love it. Shadow Lady is something I bought because I was a school kid and she's got dead ass out. And um, one part of shonen anime is that it does typically approach sexuality in the most juvenile way possible. And this is a book that personifies that. It's a pretty good book about like a shadow lady is it's like a magical transformation thing where she turns into this boisterous thief and she has this love-hate relationship will they won't they with with the police chief detective guy who's always trying to chase her um and in her seat in her normal civilian identity she's secretly in love with him and he's kind of half in love with her uh, and like i said panty shots the book is designed in a way that it just kind of has all of these suspicious camera angles for the women um it, whatever but you know there is a plot where she's shadow lady ends up saving you know the world from these crazy demon monster dudes um it's not a bad read it's not great i actually think the art the architecture and the character design is quite varied and there is stuff i would want to steal here i do want to play with this juvenile idea of sexuality that you see in shonen manga and what i do but i haven't figured out what i want to do and I, it might not be a continuous trend it might just be i make the joke the once although there is one character i want to be like a hentai waifu it definitely, I want it to be a parody of one, and, and there's a lot of ways I could take that. So, uh, that's where we are now. I'm running out of manga. I think I've got enough for just next week, and it's the work of Mazamuni Sharo, Appleseed, and uh, a book called Orion, which is probably what I'll talk about next week. So that brings us to the end of Pechikucha 258, and I will see you then.